Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick tutorial on how to open your Seneca account. So first of all, you go to your web browser and then you go to Uncle Google and there we go. Once you're there, you can type in Seneca Learning, all right? And it will take you to this website. There's another Seneca about a university in Canada. So you wanna make sure that you write down SenecaLearning.com, okay? You click on the link and it will take you to this website down here. Now, if you're gonna sign up as a student, this is where you wanna click, okay? Um, so, if you have a school account with Google, like most schools do, you can just use that instead. However, depending on the account, if the school hasn't made your account to receive emails, you wanna keep that password nicely and safe. Otherwise, you, you probably end up losing it and you won't be able to recover your account. Uh, or you can just use any email account that, that you might have uh, laying around there. You can use your Apple ID from your from your App Store. Uh, and you can also have your, your Google account from your normal private account. You can add any of those, so it's pretty easy, okay? So for instance, I'm going to sign up because I don't have an account right now. Well, I do have one, but I'm gonna try and have a look at the student view. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my name. I'm gonna put in my surname, my email. I'm gonna change the email because I've, I've opened an account with the wrong address. So I'll go to star dot tutoring dot zero one star tutoring dot zero one at gmail dot com. Okay, and I'm gonna create a password. Normally, it will ask you to put in lower cups, high um, low cups, and and uppercase and also some numbers so we're gonna go for that very simple password for me to be able to remember it I'm not holding my bank accounts in here so it doesn't really matter if my password is weak or not I'm gonna save that uh, I'm gonna in as a student okay type my name of the school so I'm gonna go for Gable Hall which is school that I'm currently working at uh, I'm gonna say I'm a year 11 and my parents email I'm gonna write my other email account uh, there we go. So it says your children under 13 need consent from a teacher or a guardian to use Seneca. Finish up and I will be remain a student. Okay. So as a student, I have um, classes and assignments. So when I click here, uh, what it does is they're asking me to join a class. So when I click there, I should have received a class code from my teacher. So I will click that one there. That's the, the, the test account that I've created. And when you click on join class, immediately it will take you to your actual classroom, okay? Now, if your teacher has set any assignments, you should be able to see them over here. So there we go. That's the classroom that I got. You should have multiple classrooms for all different kinds of lessons. But at the moment, this is the classroom that I've joined. I click on it and these are all the courses. Normally, I would be able to see assignments um, and there we go it's down here. So you upcoming assignments. If you assignments that the deadline is already gone, they should be in past assignments. And new assignments would be these ones here. Okay. Uh, you got your leaders uh, leaders board, and then you have your settings as well. Okay. Um, and that's about it. So that's how you open a Seneca account. Make sure you save that password somewhere safe. Make sure you get that class code, and that's it. Get on learning. We have over here also all the courses that your teacher may have added into your Seneca account. And once you've done the task, if you want to do some extra revision, you can just go click on any of them. Uh, let us go for, I don't know, maybe some chemistry. So you click on there and then you got all these different topics and in them you have different sections where you can do different tasks for the actual Seneca work. Okay, so let's go through element and compounds, right? You're going to start learning and you're going to just go through the stuff. You can watch a quick video um, and then answer questions from the information from the videos. It's very nice, very interactive. It follows Rose and Shine, which means that you get deliver some information and you do some questions about it to consolidate the information that you've just learned. And it's pretty nice and easy, okay? So um, yeah, that's how you open a Seneca account. See you next time.